this is an exciting day for Joe. He's going for an interview for a new factory job. He's a railway journal now, as his father died recently. He feels important and wants other people to feel the same about him. Joe's interview was for 10 o'clock, so he had a bit of time to think about the new job. What was it like inside? What sort of chap was the foreman? What would his mates think of him? And so on. Morning. I've come to see the personnel officer at 10 o'clock. Am I right? Hey! Here! in the waiting room, through the door on the right. You'll find pen and ink there. I'll let you know Mr. Dennison's ready. Dennison is ready now. Bring your form. It's no earthly good him saying that. He's got to get on with it at once. Tell him it's urgent. Now, what's more, Mr. Robinson's coming around to look at it first thing in the morning. What's that? Well, I know all about that. It's always the same thing. Well, he'll just have to do it, that's all. Tell him I said so. For heaven's sake, sit down. So you're applying for a job in this factory? Yes. Well, I need to know something about your education, etc. A few details of what you've done before. Now. Not a very helpful atmosphere for an interview. Everything hurried, something to be got through quickly. The personnel officer can't possibly get the best out of Joe, especially as he's doing all the talking. Joe hasn't got a chance to say anything, but... Yes. No. No, certainly not a helpful atmosphere. Deniston. Yes? Who? Oh, Tom, yes. Hmm. Yes. Look here, I'm up to my eyes this morning and I've got a new applicant with me. What's that? Oh, I see. Look here, hold on. Oh, Tom Dyson's got himself into some trouble again. I shall have to deal with it. Take Joe Palmer down to Foreman Fred Hall. Ask him to give the lad the once over. If he's all right, take him on and give him instructions when to start. But I've got the new machinery to put in today. All right, I'll see to it. George, it would happen like this. I've got a devil of a lot on. I shall be busy all day. Will you handle this? This is Joe Taylor. Palmer? Joe Palmer. Take a look at him, and if he's all right, tell him to report in the morning. Well, Joe was taken on, but he wasn't feeling too happy about things. Nobody had seemed very interested in him, and it hurt. His mother tried to explain that it was probably just a bad day at the factory. It happened that way sometimes. Tomorrow would probably be different. Come in. Yes? Oh, you're the new chap. I saw you yesterday, didn't I? That's right. I'm very busy this morning, but I've just time to show you around. Come on. The trouble with the foreman was that kind man and excellent technician though he was, he just couldn't see the importance of induction. Showing Joe around the shop was something he had to do. But he meant to get it over as quickly as possible. Joe's enthusiasm was already cooling off. Oh, George. Find Joe Palmer here some odd job to do for the time being. I must go. All right. Come on. We'll see who we can find you. Odd jobs. To Joe, it seemed that anything was good enough for him. 
and it was such a waste of time. He wanted to get on with the job and learn. Besides, it made him look so unimportant. And it meant a lot of hanging about, waiting for the next odd job. No, he wasn't very happy by the way things were going. Put that cigarette away. Hey, you. There's no smoking in this part of the building. Can't you read the notices? They're not put there for fun, you know. We don't want any accidents. If I catch you at it again, you'll be in trouble. And don't forget it. How could I know it was dangerous? Why didn't he tell me before? Nobody tells you anything, yeah? Exactly. Nobody told him anything. He had to ask where the laboratories were, where the canteen was. When he met the superintendent for the first time, it was for a ticking off for being late one morning. It was some months before he found out that A. E. Robinson was the works manager. When he thought the rate on his job was too tight, whom should he see about it? The time study engineer, the foreman, the works committee representative, or the personnel officer, whom he'd hardly seen since the first interview. And after a few months, Joe packed it in. He'd had enough. There were plenty of other jobs waiting anyway. So he joined the growing army of men, moving from job to job. Joe lost a lot of his enthusiasm, and the firm lost a keen workman. Both were losers. With a little thought and trouble, things could have gone very differently. It all started with the gatekeeper. He wasn't very helpful. Good morning. I've come to see the personnel officer at 10 o'clock. Am I right? Hold it. Put a little more enthusiasm into it. Show a little interest. Make Joe feel he's welcome. After all, he's probably going to be a new member of the firm. Now, try it again. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't overdo it. I didn't mean it like that. Try it again. Paper down. Stand up. Smile. The card, Joe. You've got an appointment with Mr. Dennison at 10 o'clock? Yes. Telephone? Half a more. I'll see if he's free. I've got Joe Palmer here, a new applicant to see Mr. Dennison. Can I send him up? Righto. Oh, Tom. That'll be quite all right. Oh, Tom, uh, take Joe Palmer up to the personnel department. He's got an appointment with Mr. Dennison. That's fine. Now for the employment office. We can improve this scene, all right. Come in. Good morning. Morning, miss. Now, I want you to fill up this form, and then I'll take you into Mr. Dennison. If you have any trouble with it, come back and let me know. You'll find pen and ink in the waiting room, through the door on the right. Fine. Before Joe goes in, we might brighten the place up a bit. Some clean blotting paper, for instance. And perhaps the firm might run to a few fresh flowers. Some recent periodicals would be an improvement, with an ashtray or two. A display of the firm products would be interesting. And what about a picture or two, and a mirror? Ready? Mr. Denniston will see you now. Yes? Huh? I know all about that. Stop. Let's get the right slant on it this time. <laughs> Sit up. Switchboard, I shall be busy for the next quarter of an hour. Don't put any calls through unless they're urgent. Thank you. Now then. Yes, this is going a lot better. A much more helpful atmosphere, friendly and serious. What's more, Joe is doing the talking. He's getting a chance of telling the personnel officer what he's done and what he wishes to do in the future. And that's just what the personnel officer wants to know. <laughs> Good. Now, I'll take you down and introduce you to our foreman, Fred Hall. He must see you first. If he's satisfied, we'll take you on. I'm rushed this morning, but... Let's try this over again. Now, don't look as if you're rushed. It's an important day for Joe. Naturally, he's feeling a bit lost. It's a new job, so try to make him feel at home. See what I mean? Good. Let's try it again. Come in. Ah, yes, you're Joe Palmer. I saw you yesterday. Come in, Joe, and take a pew. Well, Joe, you're bound to feel like a fish out of water for a day or two, but don't you worry about that. 
You'll soon settle down. They're a nice lot here. Now, before you start work, I'm going to show you around the shop. Tip you off about the snags, tell you who's who, so you'll know the ropes. Later on, you'll be taken around the whole works and you'll learn all about the firm. Right? That's fine. Let's go. Oh, Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith is your charge hand. He's strict, but he's fair. Oh, this is Joe Palmer. He's starting today. Hello, Joe. Now, Joe, if you've got a worry or a grouse, you go and see Mr. Smith. If he can't settle it, he'll send you to me. And if I can't give you the answer, I'll soon find someone who can. Anyway, that's the drill. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Now, this is the first thing you do in the morning. It's important because the wages department calculates your pay packet from your card. And you don't clock other people's cards, Joe. It's forbidden. Oh, here's the superintendent. Oh, Mr. Blundell, this is Joe Palmer, a newcomer. I'm showing him round. Good morning. I hope you'll enjoy working here. Anyway, you're in good hands. Hey! That's a strict rule here, Joe. It's been agreed by the Works Committee, and if you break it, you've had it. So you won't forget. And now we'll look around the shop so as you can see what we do here. Oh, that's Mr. Robinson, the works manager. He's busy just at the moment, but you'll meet him before long. Danny, this is Joe Palmer. He's new, so give him a hand when he wants it. Tell him how to pay his tea money and what the breaks are. Take him to the canteen and show him the ropes generally, will you? Right. Now, about your work, Joe. Hold it. You remember what happened the first time? Get Joe onto the job quickly. Danny, this is where Joe's going to work. I want you to show him how the job's done. Will you do that? Yes. So Joe settled in. In the next few months, a little every week, he'll be learning a lot more about the factory. During the induction course, heads of department will be telling him all about the firm and his place in it. We want you to feel part of the firm. But you can't do that until you see how it works. So you will be taken through the factory and told what products we make and how we make them. You must know how wages and overtime are calculated and what you have to do to obtain any wages due to you when absent from work, and how much income tax you owe. There are good reasons why these rules have been made, why they have to be kept. Many of them are concerned with your own safety. We have a very good sports club here, and a very flourishing dramatic society too. I'm going to tell you what time study methods we have here, how the bonus scheme operates, and how waiting time affects it. The benevolent fund may come in handy. You may have a rainy day and want a bit of help. We run training courses for those who are looking for promotion, all vacancies are advertised throughout the factory. Experience, technical qualifications, personality, merit, length of service are all taken into account. Well, there's a problem. Joe's attitude to his job is important both to the firm and to Joe himself. If he's happy and keen, everybody will be pleased. Mm -hmm.